Bring them in. Bring in the women. If you've got someone coming to you to ask for a job, advertise as well. So don't just take them on. Advertise and you might find that you'll find someone that's better than that person because ultimately you do need to employ someone that's going to make your business productive um, and not necessarily be a liability. I actually implemented a pastoral care manager, which was really significant because what it done is it enabled him to care for the rangatahi I employ um, to a point where we picked them up, we dropped them off. Um, if there was any issues at home, um, you're going to talk to the families and then we just make sure they're okay, you know, because you got to understand everyone is brought up differently, right? And the 10 uh, Māori apprentices we have, we actually no longer need the pastoral care anymore because we've transitioned them in terms of caring for them right through to now um, where they're at a point where they're sustainable, right? So they understand that they must get up, they must go to work. They must be at the mailbox at six o'clock in the morning ready for the van to turn up. You know, all those simple things in life. Understanding the, the limitations of myself as an employer, blind spots, relatively obvious ones as previously mentioned. You know, I may not see things because of the way that I see the world, um, but understanding that and having the, the um, feedback from that is, is absolutely critical to running a safe and diverse workplace. We do have a company values that we have written out. So we, we show that to um, prospective employees and let them know that they're actually coming into a company that does value people first. And yeah, I think that's important. So valuing people means you you automatically value their, their culture and, and where they come from. A lot of our engineers go out to the schools and talk to the young ones. It's about really just again changing that wording to be inclusive of everybody. I go on and I actually um, you know spend a couple of hours with them. It allows me to share what I've done which then hopefully they can see well you know if, if Nathan can do it so can we. I have a section on my website that if someone's seen me and wants to um, apply for a job they can do that at any time and it has a job description there so having a job description for someone so when they're reading it they know what they're actually in for what you're looking for in a person as well it's not just about having numbers or percentage it's about people being able to be and being free to be with all their limitations visibility is what brings change te pare tapa father the roof is really important to us. There's so much that can um, be created on the back of this industry. In trades and in business, there are studies that show that having really diverse teams um, actually increase productivity significantly, um, as well as um, being really innovative and thinking outside of the box. It just allows people to be more themselves, I think. Opens things up, not just be so stuck in their ways. If we go back to basics in terms of attracting staff, I think just even looking at position descriptions, um, you know, what's the content in there? What's the language that we're using? If we look at recruiting externally, um, again, what do our job ads say? Where do we go um, to attract our staff? So just being, uh, I guess, really diverse in terms of those recruitment platforms. Of our four construction managers um, or project managers to to a woman, and what blows me away is just um, one of them has a um, child, and so th the work that she gets done between daycare hours, whilst myself and others are running around after hours, getting trying to get things done, it's just staggering. And the ability to think about more than one thing at a time, um, it's second to none, really. So yeah, for me, it's a it's a no brainer. There's nothing that a man can do that a woman can't if they put their mind to it. We've seen the benefits that they add. They can drive the machinery. They can get in the trenches with the boys. Um, they can go and work in remote crews. I, I just support them in a way that it makes them feel comfortable that they can be a part of something that's been so dominant by male. There's uh, another trade on site who took on a, woman, a female apprentice and she's the best apprentice he's ever had.
making sure that they feel comfortable. So making sure that you set the, uh, set the tone when they come in for interview, making sure that it's uh, a safe environment for them. Like if you're going into an interview and you've got like a panel of people interviewing, it's horrible. So you might as well just bring them into sort of a coffee shop or you know a mutual sort of setting so you can have an honest, open relationship. You sort of got to see them as a person rather than just as your potential employer.